Hello, my dear viewers. Welcome to today's message. Today being Wednesday, January 11th, 2023. And this message is for everyone, for the whole collective. And it's for each and every one of us. Let's have a look what are the two major impacts that the universe wants us to know. It is about everything um, that is going to transpire in our life, starting January 11th, 2023. Let's see the two major impacts and the first, oh wow, two of them. We've got the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Wow, what an amazing new beginning. This is really about something very big that's going to take place. There's news coming to you, important message um, of the truth about you needing to take some sort of an action. Action that is going to give you clarity and to gives you, um, you'll be able to be moving forward. The Ten of Pentacles is strange to be with this card. The Ten of Pentacles is about wealth and riches. So there could be, um, this is the message from the universe saying to us to, to get ready to go, get ready to, for something really big to happen, for you to be wealth and rich. Big money is coming your way. Something big is going to take place. This is a time where I say, have a look at your money reading. Look at the December money reading under your star sign. And the money reading that's coming in January, the next one, which is going to be next week, is going to have your lucky lotto numbers for January. 2023 remember in the community section of this particular channel so right under the video you'll see community when you go inside the channel you actually have to enter into the channel um, where it shows subscribers right underneath there's a click and you go into the channel for those of you who are not aware and not sure and then inside the channel you will see a section where it says community as a, a in the toolbar at the top, there's the word community. Inside the community, you will see the lucky lot of numbers and the pages for every star sign. Make sure you play the December 2021 and the January 2022. And now, soon next week, you will have for each star sign, they'll have their lucky lot of numbers given again for 2023. I didn't think we'll have that happening again. I thought it was final. Um, but apparently, I was wrong, and there the universe has decided to give more numbers for some peculiar reason. And now I'm seeing the reason here. There is an impact about wealth and riches. Many, many people will be winning. There's a windfall. This isn't inheritance. This is a life-changing wealth that comes, and the universe is preparing you for it. Wow. Can't wait to investigate it. Now, now that we know that, let's have a look at um, other major impacts. Let's have a look at the uh, the sacred forest. What will it tell us for January 11th? Focus. So you need to pay attention and focus. Um, you are protected, but focus is needed. You need to pay attention to everything that's happening now, especially um, with this card here. It shows there's some truth coming to you, some information. Uh, this could be the information about the grand wind, perhaps a windfall, a life-changing situation about money, um, a lot of changes are going to take place. So pay attention to everything being said and done. Nowadays, keep an eye on everything. Let's have a look at major impacts for the whole collective again. January 11th for everybody, the truth. And we have, there is conflict. Some of you are facing some conflict, some disagreements, some issues that will be resolving perhaps by the Knight of Swords where some truth is going to come to light, some information to give you the go ahead to move forward. You are leaving. I guess that's what the truth is all about. And the conflict, you're leaving a situation where you're not emotionally happy. You are unhappy where you are. And because of this conflict, it's going to bring out the truth and you are actually leaving leaving a situation. I'm going to clarify all cards, of course, but let's have a look. The emperor, you are going to be given power, control over your life, the authority over your life you, where you are going to be empowered big time. This is a major arcane. talks about incredible power coming to you. It could, could also be um, a proposition that you can't, an offer that you can't refuse about um, a leadership position. Empowerment to the highest level. And then finally, you are taking time out, resting, recuperating, and catching up with your health, replenishing, and looking at your life and, and taking, you know, preparing for the next step. Now, that is really amazing. Sometimes you can only take that time out when there's a lot of money 
Otherwise, people find it very hard to leave their jobs. So the Ten of Pentacles is really big. Justice is going to be in your favor. Justice is coming and in your favor in everything you do. Okay, that's very important. And action is going to be needed. You will be taking action. Some of you are going to be moving or taking action. I feel like something big is going to happen here. Okay, let's have a look at um, the guiding angels. Let's see what they're going to tell us. And then I will do um, the clarification of each card. One message for the whole collective for January 11th. It says the answer is no. You need to let go. It's to do with letting go. You need to let go of a situation that no longer is working. And the answer is no. But still, I will say, pay attention and focus on everything that's happening here. Let's have a look at now. Let's clarify all the cards. We'll start with the conflict card. The Five of Wands and see what the Five of Wands is all about. What is this conflict all about for the whole collective? And it shows it's about freedom. And it's about taking action. Remember, um... The card of action came just now. Taking action. Um, we have here the strength card. So you will be empowered big time to be able to take action. And I feel like there is going to be a rise in your money that's showing, that's coming up. And it could be happening at a time where there's going to be a renewal, a time of rewards and a rise in your money and in your life. A lot of rewards are coming. But the most important one is strength that's coming to support you in this action, uh, to, to take leave of the situation. You are going to have your freedom. You are going to feel um, a sense of freedom unlike you have felt in a long time. Perhaps this is going to also help you with the money that's coming. The wealth and riches could give you uh, you know, a sense of adventure where you don't have to do anything. You just might take a leap of faith and just start something fresh of your own or take a step um free a sense of freedom a period of freedom is coming now this could be also that you might be taking action and leaving a situation and to get your freedom some of you are actually um feeling free because you're leaving a situation that you're no longer happy and some of you could be um taking action and leaving and ultimately um feeling a sense of freedom after doing so so um freedom and this conflict is going to help you Take the next action, and the next action is leaving and having freedom. Let's have a look at the, um, the oh, I made a mistake. I'm sorry. I thought this was the Knight of um, Swords. I just realized it's not the Knight of Swords. So um, this is the King of Swords, which is some sort of truth still, but it's not uh, information coming to you. This is about someone being very honest and truthful, and that truthfulness causing some anguish and um, reaching to a level where you're, you're, you're moving out or, or leaving a situation. This is to do with air energies, very strong air energies. Those of you who are Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, some truth is coming uh, direct truth that you need to deal with and it's coming out in the conflict and ultimately it's helping you take action and leave let's see the king of swords for all for the everybody for um january 11th there is going to be a rise in your money as you can see you are going to be empowered and there is a celebration so i'll take the money and i'll put it right under there and um i'm gonna ask uh, i'm gonna um uh, I'm, I'm getting to understand uh, what the King of Swords is here. It shows to me that emotionally, because you're not happy, that's why you're leaving and that's why there's conflict. The conflict is bringing on the truth for you so you can come to terms with the truth to be able to go. It isn't easy leaving. You are sad leaving someone behind, but there is a new beginning for you destined and this new beginning is going to be very prosperous and is going to be enchanting and is going to be growing. It's a lot of your wishes and dreams and desires are going to be fulfilled and manifesting right in front of your eyes. The Nine of Cups is incredible. It gives you abundance of um, happiness to the point where you don't need any more. So the King of Swords is just the energy of the truth and those air energies involved in this situation where you are coming to terms with the reality of you're not happy where you are and you're leaving. Now let's have a look at that. Oh, wow. You see that? How it jumped out. The two of swords. You're not happy in a relationship or in a situation that has come to an absolute end. There's nothing more you can do. Every solution, every resolution is to leave. It's not working anymore. I'll just do one more card for the eight of cups. You are destined for a happier life. Just one more challenge is left. One more challenge and you will reach to the end of this matter completely and utterly. And you are destined to have a happy life. A life filled with everything. Luxury and money at the same time. Don't forget the ten 
of pentacles i'm not taking the ten of pentacles out actually i should take the ten of pentacles so you can see the ten of pentacles because seeing it is um different i was trying uh, not to take it out why because i thought it'll come out by itself with the deck that i'm using but then i thought now i can take it out because with a deck that i'm not using so um yes so that when i'm pointing to it you understand what we're talking about it makes a difference by seeing seeing is everything so here we go should be here any moment the deck that i'm not using and here it is okay so the ten of pentacles and now we've got the nine of pentacles that really makes me wonder this is the ten of pentacles in the egyptian deck and this is the one in the in the vintage deck so that you can see it's a change of life completely and i see that happening and i'm seeing that you are changing there's a big rise in your money to the point where you are going to be able to help so many people you are going to be so empowered so wealthy that you'll be able to help others so prepare for this this is destined without a doubt um and what i'm seeing now is that the nine in regard to you leaving this is showing me a timing when you are leaving a situation that no longer is working you are destined for a happy ever after kind of a life not only with love because we've got the love okay let's talk about that your love life is going to be spectacular emotionally fulfillment being with the person you want and not needing for anymore that's the nine of cups but then we've got the nine of pentacles which is also financial freedom to the highest level to work to live a life of leisure a life of luxury a life where you don't need to work a life of absolute freedom to do what you want whenever you want now to have this kind of life and no worries about anything it does require abundance and it does require wealth it does require wealth and riches that you'll be able to walk freely and do what you want and have the dream life you've always wanted so this is what i'm seeing i'm seeing that there is going to be uh, an incredible rise in your money and i think you should watch your money reading for december have a look at that according to your star sign and see what money is coming and also be sure to watch the january one to see if there is money coming for you this year so you know how to proceed and what to do and take the so that you can take the lucky lot of numbers and play them with wisdom small amounts of money but um very like five ten dollars even if it's every three weeks or a month uh, and you don't stop until this change of life and this wealth does come into your life because that's what it seems like it's destined it's only a situation where it's working abundance is coming wealth is coming giving you the power to do everything you want so whatever is coming and starting it's it's the magnitude is amazing now that was in regard to you leaving so it's happening after you leave you need to know that about timing let's have a look at the emperor the emperor is also about control power and having it all so let's see having the power the authority yes financial freedom but also there is celebration this twice i saw this card and this is the time you're taking out which is the four of swords where you don't see it coming you will be taking time out and celebrating an amazing something something magical that's happening so um and there's a lot of rewards coming your way afterwards and that's the riches in the world that i'm talking about so celebration what you don't see coming i'll just put it over here it's in reference to the emperor and being empowered um you might be leaving a relationship with someone of earth energy virgo taurus capricorn i feel like your financial state is going to improve but you are leaving for a better life you're not happy i'm seeing this coming twice actually in the reading i think it did a few days ago leaving for a better life the truth is making you leave emotional fulfillment lack of it is making you also leave so you are leaving and you are going to be empowered you don't have to worry about that and there are celebrations after you're leaving and ending you're happy you're not becoming sad you are going to be celebrating the conclusion of a chapter of your life so there's happiness there too now you could be winning something big and that could be also for some of you a celebration of some big money that you might be winning that is also a possibility okay yes that's that one there now, in regard to these situations of lotto or lottery, if I forget to say this in your money reading, it's always important that you consider playing a small syndicate also. Um, some people were questioning me, <coughs> excuse me, asking me whether they should play a syndicate. I feel like 
Playing syndicate, even if it's something of the bare minimum, like $15, $20, and you're in it with a group of people, make sure you're with a small amount of people and you do that sort of once a month or when it's really big, like 40 to 50 million, but you don't have to do it all the time. Uh, I always believe um, when it comes to lotto and lottery to always, um, uh, to always do things sort of very, very um, bare minimum. And you do it continuously because of divine timing. Divine timing is everything. Sometimes I'm told things um, that happen in a year's time or three years time. So you just need to be aware of that. Let's have a look at the Ten of Pentacles, the wealth and rich, and see what that is for the whole collective. And we've got the first card, which I'll talk about in a moment, the Ten of Wealth and Riches. Okay, um, I'll take one more card and we'll take it from there. Okay, it looks like to me there is going to be a new beginning that is going to take you out of this depressive mode where you are discontented and very unhappy. It's going to be very prosperous. It could be someone new um, entering your life and um, helping you move forward. It could be a new idea that you're putting into action. It could be this money that I talked about, you know, starting to play syndicates, which are very with a very, very bare minimum, like $15, $20, no more than that, once a month or every three months. But being there continuously is the point with, with winning the lotto or the lottery. Or you can just buy yourself a lottery ticket of $5 and just see how you go. But um, there is a lot of wealth coming, a life-changing wealth that's giving you this glorious life and this freedom. That's why I talk about the lottery, because I don't believe in, you know, stock markets and things of gambling. I don't believe in gambling that much. So to make, you know, to become rich from gambling. I don't believe in that. I believe in concrete things. So there's that. And emotionally, finally, you will be fulfilled. You will be very happy and get exactly what your heart's desire is. You will get your heart's desire, especially those of you that have water energy within you and those of you that have fire energy within you. Um, water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or if you're dealing with someone that is water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and fire energy, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, um, water energy, very strong here a new beginning spectacular your emotional state is going to change you are going to be much happier because that's the life you're destined to live and be happy so all this is coming to an end and um due to this wealth and riches and new a new matter that's taking place in your life now there is one correct answer has just come up there's only one correct true answer and that is going to lead you to finally move forward even though you might be discontented and unhappy when that happens but you're moving to the next level and the next level is going to uplift you now let's have a look at the four of swords and see what the four of sword is for the whole collective everything is changing so those of you who are unhappy you need to know things are changing and there are rewards for you. And there it is, the Ten of Pentacles destined for you again. One, two, three, three times. I'll talk about this in a moment. This is what you don't see coming. So I'll put it over here in regard to now we're talking about the Four of Swords, taking time out, replenishing and preparing, preparing for a new commitment. You're doing something new. You're starting something new. The truth is going to be revealed to you. Secrets are going to be revealed. You're finally going to know who you are, where you stand and where you're heading. You're going to see the path of your life. And I feel like there is going to be an incredible commitment, a new commitment, something you're doing that is going to uplift you in your wisdom and your spirituality uh, and you could be committing to something new that is going to uplift you to high levels but this happens after you come to terms with the truth that is hidden from you what you don't see coming a lot of rewards are coming your way a lot of rewards and one of which is life-changing wealth life-changing wealth is imminent why i say that um, why I'm talking about this. There's a grand victory for you. Um, this victory is going to give you capacity beyond your imagination, abundance beyond your imagination. It's a gift of wealth, the gift of wealth and many gifts. Actually, with the six of wands, it's applause, fame, and wealth all together. But why I'm talking about wealth so much, because have a look at this. Have a look at this. We have three cards. This is like 11-11 when, when the guiding angels, God, the universe, they talk to us humans. They always double up and triple for us to understand the reality of that thing that's going to take place. The magnitude, the intensity, it just intensifies. We have the Ten of Pentacles, exactly the same card in the Egyptian deck. We have the Ten of Pentacles in the um, vintage this is the Egyptian, the vintage, and the radiant. Three cards, three times shows that there is abundance and wealth coming. So this is why I talk about um, lotto and lottery, because there is no other means where the universe can pour this 
these millions into your life. That's why I talk about lotto or lottery. Play the bare minimum, the bare minimum, and play it continuously. Even if you play every month, don't stop until this wealth comes to you because it's coming. And this, I can't imagine this being an inheritance because this is a life-changing uh, wealth. It's giving you a capacity to help others, to be free from work, to have it all, to be wealthy. This is a kind of wealth beyond your expectation. This is a life-changing situation with money. More than love, more than anything. I know people say, um, we're leaving an emotional situation here. We're going to be meeting someone wonderful. Yes, you are. You are emotionally going to be, your emotions are being restored. You are going to have your dream life and you are going to have someone spectacular to have a great life with. All your wishes and dreams are going to be established. And maybe in some readings, they talk about the love more, the soulmate. I think it did yesterday. But today's reading, it's talking about more about the wealth that's coming your your life. For those of you who um, who might already have love, there's wealth and life-changing wealth coming with the Ten of Pentacles tripling in your reading, in everybody's reading, and that's including me also. So I'm looking forward to this, and I can't wait to share my news with you when I win. And I am hoping it's going to be this year, but you never know. I've been waiting. So let's have a look. Uh, we know now in regard to the Four of Swords why you might be able to take time out. First, emotionally unhappy, truth coming out, you're committing to something new, you're meeting someone wonderful, you're having a great life, but life-changing money is coming big time where you are going to be empowered in a big way. So let's put this aside now and um, let's start with, let's see what the animal spirits want to tell you for the whole collective, January 11th. Right, you need to be careful of what you're expressing, expressing your expression, what you say. The parrot spirit is about a warning, watch your words so that your words won't hurt someone. Be very cautious of that, especially when you will be facing a challenge or some changes are taking place for you to uh, come out of the situation safe or when you're leaving or when there's conflict. This comes when you are in conflict with someone. Try to be very careful what you say so that your words don't hurt anybody. So that's that one. And the second one the whale is all about trusting the great mystery mystery is not knowing now we know that there's big money coming this is trust in the mystery trust in what is what you don't see and this is what you don't see we're seeing it here but we don't see when this is really coming so trust in the mystery that's what that's what the magic is saying so there's a lot of rewards for you without a doubt so that's wonderful that's that let's see what the uh, butterfly spirit says for the whole everybody okay we've got one the first one where it says get some rest and that is in connection to this take time out and get rest especially for those of you that have gone through battles conflicts and uh, a challenge you will need time out and rest so take take some time out and rest and the next message for the whole collective for january 11th Let's have a look at that. And it says motivation. Something is going to motivate you to move forward. Something is going to motivate you to take action. You've got the motivation to take action. The guardian angels, the universe, your um, angels are going to support you to be able to take action and to motivate you to go to uplift you to the next level. Now that we've established that, let's have a look at the message from these cards for everyone for January 11, the truth. We need just one card. For January 11th. Okay. It usually comes out. I don't have to cut these ones. And there it is. It says, emotions are a natural and a necessary part of life. But they can also distort your perception. They can cloud your judgment. That's what it means. Cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. You must let go of resentment. And I feel like this is about the moon. Where there's a truth coming out that might be a secret or a truth of coming out, it might be hurtful. It might be painful. So, And at the same time, it might cloud your judgment. So always remember to let go of anything that is resentment or holding grudges just let go um, because there's a beautiful path waiting for you so you don't have to worry about anything just let go and that's what no is um, no is about letting go and you know don't pursue something and certainly don't use 
uh, powerful words or expression of um, saying how you feel and anger and, and if you're holding a resentment so that you won't hurt those around you. Let's have a look at what other messages are there for the collective for January 11th. And we've got both cards out. Okay, it says getting to know each other. Trust in this union. Trust in this relationship. There's a situation calling for you to have faith. Sometimes it can be a relationship. Sometimes it could be a situation. Trust in the situation. Um, and the situation is calling for you to have faith. Don't lose faith, whatever you do. And it says getting to know each other. You're getting to know someone. And it seems like it says, um, it's as you, as you reveal your innermost self, to each other the more you're revealing to each other the more your bond is becoming deeper and deeper with someone and this could be this person that is new and uh, this person could be the one that you are spending the rest of your life with and having that happy life destined for you with this person the more you're revealing um, to this person what themselves and you together there is going to be um, a very deep bond growing and growing and ultimately perhaps um, letting you or taking you to the level where you are going to be quite happy, exceptionally happy. Now let's have a look at, um, we've covered everything. Let's have a look at the message today, January 11th for the whole collective. And there it is. Trumpet Gen Gentian, I think it's called. Let me just have a look. Glasses. Trumpet Gentian. Yes, this is all about power and healing. You are going to be healed. This is about power, control, having the authority in your life for the, um, with the emperor, the, the grand uh, major arcane, to get what you love, you first have to be patient with what you have. You need to be patient with what you have. It's so important because um, patience makes you understand your power and where you stand. So to get what you love, you first have to be patient with what you have. Um, this is about power, you being an authority, Finally, and finally, let's go to the message on the cookies for January 11th. One, that's one. And the second one, oh, three. Oh, wow, three. Okay. Sometimes the universe does give us too many messages, but everything has a reason. We have to take it all. Commitment. Well, we have got commitment. This is about the Hierophant, I think, was the here somewhere. Oh yes, the hierophant. There is about there is something about commitment. You might be committing to someone new. It says a commitment is indicated around love or business. Some of you could be in business, starting something fresh and new. This one here could be starting a new project, a new partner, a new business, a new job that's going to bring you abundance also. Or it could be love, starting something fresh um, with someone, committing to someone new. Or um the, the the bond that was growing here. Well, the more you're getting to know each other, the more um, you might be considering committing to each other. So it says here, commitment is indicated around love and business. It will make you feel better, much better than you are now. It says twists and turns, carefully made plans could be thrown out of the window as major changes and interruptions surround you. Make sure you get lots of rest to cope with the upheaval. Whenever you are leaving a situation where you're not happy and when there is conflict, there's always um, upheaval and you always need rest. But most of all, the message was to be careful what you say because you could be hurting someone. How to express uh, in, in battles or in conflicts, always watch your words so that they're not harmful and they don't hurt the person um, that you're dealing with or leaving. In this case, there is leaving with regrets so focus is very important that's why you need to pay attention to this reading and to the messages the universe is letting you know preparing you burnout it says your hard work will see results that's without a doubt but your health needs to be maintained so check in with your doctor dentist and health professional and try to maintain a healthy lifestyle this is the card of health also taking time out and looking at seeing your doctors and your dentists. I'm doing that now, making appointments everywhere to go and get everything checked because this has been coming in the past few weeks, two weeks maybe about, you know, um, checking in our health and maintaining everything and making sure everything is working. So I hope everything will go well for you all, my dearest, dearest viewers. I wish you abundance of happiness and joy and prosperity and safety in the year to come, in the year we're in, sorry. <laughs> 
2023. And it's like I haven't absorbed it, but I have. Um, I guess because I am so uh, connected to the Chinese years uh, that I know the next year hasn't really come until 19th of January. But uh, it's here and it's there and it's here for everyone. So I do wish you abundance of happiness, joy and wealth. Wealth is coming. Always remember that wealth is coming big time and it's wealth that's going to bring you abundance of happiness and this life this incredible life of absolute leisure and incredible happiness. This is what's coming. Um, so be prepared for this. And you know what? Pay attention on how to uh, deal with the lucky lot of numbers. And if it's too much, um, too hectic for you, then just play a lottery. But remember to do it in class with wisdom, small amounts and continuous. That is the secret. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Let me know what you think. I wish you abundance of blessings. To each and every one of you, happy anniversaries and happy birthdays to those of you celebrating January 11th with all my blessings to each and every one of you. Namaste.